Hi viewers and welcome once again to my channel. My name remains Victor Godfrey and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to drive instant traffic to your Clickbank or any affiliate product you're promoting using Instagram influencers. Yeah, the first step will be for us to choose a product to promote. So uh, and for the purposes of this video I'll be using uh, Clickbank as an example. So uh, here is Clickbank Marketplace. So we have to search for a product to promote. So we could actually go for any niche uh, and I would like to go for the health and fitness niche. Okay, this is it here. So I'm going to click on this on the health and fitness niche and then I would like to load. Okay, uh, now we are on this page where we can actually choose any product uh, for us to promote. But I usually like to go uh, search for products based on gravity. So I'm going to click on this search button here or search icon rather and then i'm gonna come here and on the drop down menu i'm gonna choose uh gravity so for me to actually pick up a product i would like to promote here then i'm gonna scroll down okay uh i've decided to go with this particular product that says uh lip is it lep leptitox and uh say so it has a huge commission it's selling for 67 dollar and I'm also want to check the gravity. The gravity says it is 495.47, which means uh, the, there's a lot of people selling this product. What actually it means is that uh, over 400 people have actually sold this product and they've made money from it. Uh, some people will actually tell you not to go for products that have high gravity because of uh, it has high competition. But for me, I always tell people, yeah, the more the competition, the better. It simply means the product is selling. It simply means the product has been tested and proven. And that's why you have a whole lot of people selling it. So I, I shouldn't be scared joining in the competition, knowing fully well that I have a unique strategy of selling this product and also going to make money. So there's no crime in joining the, uh, this competition in order for you to make money or have a bite from this huge uh, affiliate offer. So the next thing we will do will be for us to you know generate our affiliate marketing link or call the hop link so i'm going to click on this uh, promote button for me to get my affiliate link for this product so i'm going to click on this button now it's asking for my account name for clickbank so obviously this is my account name here then i'm just going to click on the generate hop link so basically this is it here so this is my affiliate uh product um, affiliate link for this particular product so what we're gonna do we're gonna copy it and put it on one corner because we're also definitely gonna use it subsequently or uh, I might just decide to open it somewhere here so we can actually see uh, how it looks like so this is my affiliate link this is the product itself uh, let me click on it see so she exercises every so basically this is my affiliate link so this is where this is the product I'll be promoting and I'll be sending people to this particular page but what people normally do or what beginners normally do is they just pick up their affiliate link and start spamming everywhere start posting everywhere but that is uh, actually a wrong way of marketing so I'm gonna show you guys the ideal way to do this marketing and how we we'll also be finding those to promote our product so the first step we've actually concluded the first step which is to find a product to promote and we went to clickbank and i decided to go with this particular product and i've also generated my hop links so the next question is what next okay, so just like the last question i asked i said what next we've generated our affiliate link we'll find a product to promote so what next so guys the next thing i'll advise you to do or what i usually do is i go straight ahead and create an opt-in page for this particular product so that I can be able to capture the leads instead of me sending them directly to my affiliate link for this product instead of me sending them directly to this page I'm going to create an opt-in page and which I've already done here this is the opt-in page actually created for this particular product I just want to show you guys something uh, if you look at this title here it says here is how here is how I saved my wife's life with a five second hack that kills food cravings and melt uh, 621 IBAs of uh, raw fat and I definitely did an opt-in page or you can also call this a landing page using the same uh, uh, 
subtitle as it is here on my uh, um, on my affiliate link the same catchy title here is actually what I used in creating my opt-in page I also said here is how I saved my wife's life with a blah 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 a five second hack that kills food cravings and milk so now I'm prompting them for them to put in their email and their name so that they can actually get instant access and find out what exactly is it or how what exactly I did that enabled me to save my wife's life and they also want to find out what product actually kills food cravings and melt 621 uh, IBS of raw fat so there's curiosity here you want them to find out and why am I doing this remember most times people send their uh, their, their prospect or their uh, potential clients straight to their affiliate link and once you do this you don't have access to these people anymore they click here they go and sometimes they could purchase actually purchase from you but and after purchasing from you what makes you don't have access to them Clickbank is actually the one that has you actually sending clients to Clickbank Clickbank is collecting the same information from them in order to remarket them sometimes or sometimes to even you know sell them other offers meanwhile you are the one that actually brought this client but you don't have access to them so in order to cut all that off in order for you to actually start you know developing your business building an email list so that you can actually market other similar products to the same people there's a possibility that they might not even buy your product despite getting to your affiliate link or to the sales uh, product page sales product page rather but in as much as you've captured your emails you can also sell other products to them or promote other product to them and subsequently they might eventually buy other products even if they don't buy from you so, but right now the whole essence of sending them here is for you to capture their details so that you already have you're building your list of uh, prospective buyers of subsequent products that you might be selling in the future so that is exactly what I've done here I've created an opt-in page for them using the same title as found on my sales page from this Clickbank product so once they get down here provide their name well let's try this out uh, let me decide to put in one of my emails and let me use uh, Victor here and once they click on this get instant assets automatically it takes them to this page and this is exactly the same page we already have here this is exactly the same sales page they will come down to where they will now listen to whatever thing that uh, the sales page has to say then they scroll down those that will purchase will purchase you know so now we've concluded the second step which is to create an opt-in page which I just showed you guys how I did I've already created my opt-in page here but again there's something I want to share with you guys. They're actually a tool, uh, a software tool that I actually used in building this particular landing page. Uh, I didn't show the video here, but uh, I'll drop a link in this video. You can actually have uh, access to that same software. And basically, that's the product I promote. I promote a business tool that you can actually use in building this soft, uh, this landing page that you can also use in building a website. You can also use it in building, uh, automating your business. It has 32 different tools, business tools you can actually use for different purposes. And so I'm going to drop a link here. So for those of you uh, that will be interested in implementing this strategy so that you can be able to use, utilize the tool to build your landing page or your opt-in page to capture leads just like I, as I have done right on this particular page. So having done this, we'll now be going to the third stage or uh, third step, which will be for us to go find uh, the Instagram influencers that we will be using to promote our affiliates product So guys remember I said uh, in the beginning that the purpose of this uh, Video is to show you guys how to actually drive instant traffic to your Clickbank or any affiliate products You're promoting using Instagram influencers. So now how do we find this Instagram influencers? So that's the next step. So guys all you need to do is go to Google type in exactly what you see here site semicolon instagram.com space plus space then the niche of whatever thing you're promoting it could be a weight loss product it could be a software it could be whatever thing there's different influencers on instagram for different purposes for but for the purposes of this uh video we are actually talking about we're trying to market a weight loss product so what i did here was to come to google and i typed in site semicolon instagram.com plus weight loss so 
and it popped out this result. So guys, there's something I really want you guys to know. You know, sometimes you go to Instagram and you see some people, they have large followers. Don't get excited or don't get intimidated by the number of followers they have. The main purpose is what exactly is the engagement they are having and not the numbers of followers. A lot of people could have a million followers, but there is zero engagement. So it's of no use to you. So we are looking for Instagram influencers that actually have engagement irrespective of the number of followers they might have or thousands of followers but the engagement is what really matters to me and one of the criteria i look out for is that i'm looking for an instagram influencer that has at least over two percent engagement rate you know on whatever post on his instagram post so it's not just about the number of followers so look at for this first example here if you look down here this person has over 197 thousand followers so it sounds too good it sounds very very appealing a newbie will just go straight up to this guy but there's something i have to do i just don't go straight up to them i do what i call a research i do a thorough research on them before proceeding to contact them so how do we do this research so first of all i'm going to click on this guy's contact to go check out his instagram page is loading here so this is, is, is uh, okay, I don't know if it's a he or a she, or whatever the person is, this is their Instagram page. You can see this person has over 197,000 followers, and the person is just following 200 and, uh, 275 people. Well, that's not of interest to us. The number of followers doesn't really matter to me. So now, how do I conduct my research? I'm going to copy their Instagram account, because I'm actually searching for engagement. And remember I said, my criteria is I'm looking for at least someone that has 2% engagement. So how do I find this? I go straight to a website called uh, Flan, uh, is it Lans or uh, whatever how do you pronounce this, lans.com. You go to this website. I actually do, I use two different websites to carry out my research on every influencer to find out the influencer I actually want to communicate, uh, I want to reach out to. So now I come down to this website I'll go straight to here that says engage, uh, Instagram engagement calculator. I'm going to post, uh, paste the right, I paste the, uh, that the account we copied and click on this side button. So it's going to generate, we want to find out if this person actually has, uh, uh, engagement up to 2%, which is one of my criteria, 2% and above. You can see. The result came out that the person, uh, this particular Instagram account holder has 0.40%. So it doesn't make, it, doesn't, it, it's, it is worthless to me, despite the fact that this Instagram account has over 197,000 followers. But look at the engagement rate. It's even below 1%. So it's of no use to me. So for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to go ahead to communicate or to contact this guy. You know, to, for the guy to pro, guy or he or she to promote my uh, affiliate program, no, because the engagement uh, he's generating or she's generating does not meet my criteria. So then the search continues. So I'm gonna go search for another person. Then I told you guys that I normally use two different websites. This is the first one. I also use another one called NinjaLytics.com. So this is another website, guys. You can actually use, you know. Once you find an influencer or no, an influencer on Instagram, you want to do a research on them, you copy their Instagram account, come down here. This one too is also going to give me, I, I try to compare between these and freelance to see, you know, so now it's uh, trying to generate uh, information about this account owner. So can you imagine? It says the engagement rate is 0 0.43. Why uh, Flanks also say 0 0.40. So they're almost similar. So these both websites are almost similar, telling me that this guy does not really have any engagement. So there's no point of me reaching out. Then again, there's something I want to show you guys about this Ninja Latex. It also goes into further details, not just showing you the engagement rate. It goes to tell you guys more about if this guy is really growing. Because a lot of Instagram people or influencers, most of them do buy you know they buy their accounts some of them are bots they're not really humans you know then another thing you will do is you sometimes you also go to the instagram check their likes click on their like button to actually see the faces of those most times they won't be 
they, they, uh, most of the people liking these pages don't even have pictures so they're not humans they just both but if you see the one that has more people more images of people then you know that that's a real account or real people actually commenting so i also want to show you guys if you scroll down a bit it's going to show you the engagement rate uh it's going to give you more information like today is this is a new this is a, i'm doing this video today july 24 so as of july so july 21 this guy didn't even get any for new he didn't get he didn't add any new any new followers sometimes they're even losing followers and if you see people losing followers like this it simply means sometimes these are not real real followers these are bots so uh then you can also scroll down to see more statistics about this guy this guy on 24th of march 2020 over 1,005, uh, 518 people like the particular post he posted. Who knows? They could be humans. They could be both. But so, well, let's go back to the purpose of this video, which is actually searching for engagement. So this guy does not meet the criteria. So I'm going to go again to look for another weight loss, uh, uh, influencer from Google results. So uh, this guy has 41,000. So let me check this account we might be lucky to find someone that meets our criteria so we could proceed so okay I've opened the page here so it says slim is a slim city or 135 so I'm gonna copy this again repeat the process remember we are making a research on this influencers in order for us to actually find the one that will have more engagement so that when we reach out to them we will be much more optimistic that we will get results so I'm going to search on this guy again. I'm also going to do the same thing on Ninjalytics here. Post, uh, paste the same and search. So I'm doing multiple research in the United States. We call it background, background check. So I'm making a background check on all this information. Okay, on this influencers rather. So the first results from Flanks gave us that this guy or lady or whoever Slim Sadie 135 is actually meets my criteria. So guys, this is this is somebody you guys can contact <laughs> i'm giving you a free you know this is a, this, this is a, a free nugget you can actually reach out to this name here this person meets one of my criteria 2.53 percent so guys finally we found someone we could contact if we're selling uh, a weight loss remember i told you guys you must search for people that are within your niche or the product you're promoting so we are promoting a, uh, a weight loss program or product from clickbank and this influencer deals on weight loss so and also meets the criteria of uh 2.53 percent engagement so this is cool for me this is uh let's also check out the report generated from ninjalytics on this same person you see the engagement rate here is also 2.76 percent so it's almost same with uh the ones from langs.com so obviously this person checks everything for me so have now found our influencer this is how you actually make a research to find the influencers you'll be reaching out to you know for them to uh, promote your product so now we found uh someone we could reach out on instagram an influencer that has engagement that made to that criteria so what next so guys uh once you find an influencer that actually meets the criteria of what you're looking for uh, especially has an engagement rate of two percent and above uh next thing you have to do is you just have to send them a dm send them a message and this is uh an example of kind of message you can actually send to them this is sometimes this is most times this is what i actually use i'm actually giving you guys the same message I actually using reaching out to my uh prospective influencers that i normally use to promote my own affiliate marketing product so the subject here is business inquiry this is what i send to them then i say hey i love your page and i'm sure that your audience will be a great fit for the affiliate product i'm promoting i'd like to run an instagram story 24 hours plus link shout out what are your rates please get back to me asap then my name victor godfrey so why am i saying 24 hours here you know sometimes some Instagram influencers could say, okay, they could just want to do a shout out for you for like two hours, four hours. It could also be effective, but I've, I've tried all the stuff, but I found that the one that was much more effective for me is when uh, my posts 
stays for 24 hours on their page so it's it's available to more eyeballs a lot of people get to see it and it generates much more positive response from me and so i always prefer i always advise reach out to them talk to them about you know uh, a 24-hour deal then you negotiate with them i've been very very fortunate to get influencers that actually charge me 20 dollars the maximum I've paid, some some are very, very high. I must be very honest with you, but I've been very, very lucky. I got one that actually charged me $20, $25 and for 24 hours. And to, to be very, very honest with you guys, I've been using that same guy over and over and over again because the very first time I used his services, $20 actually generated five sales for a $60, a $60 product and of which the particular affiliate program I promote pays you $60, 61, pays you 100% instant commission for every sale, then also pays you 30% recurring commission every month, and also pays you what they call a second tier affiliate program, 30% recurring commission. Like if I, if somebody I introduced also have other people they introduce, I'm also going to get 30% recurring commission from my second downline. So guys, this is very, very huge. I'm also going to leave a link for those of you that might be interested in promoting the same affiliate product that I promote using the same strategy. I'm sure you're really going to love it. The first time I used my own influencer, I got like five sales. I used him the second time. I got over 10 sales. So you can imagine when you've generated under $20 and then multiply how much I'm making and not just that 100% instant commission. I'm also getting a recurring monthly commission from these same people. So I've stick to a particular influencer I found that has been very, that has a very, very uh, engaging list that loves my product and they have been patronizing and I've also been, you know, bringing them into the business and also sharing a lot of information with them for them to also utilize and also make money just like I'm making. So guys, uh, without taking much of your time, uh, we've come to the end of this video. Uh, I will appreciate if you utilize this strategy because it's been very, very effective. If it's working for me, obviously it's going to work for you. And one more thing, if you actually find value in this video, please kindly drop a comment, like my video, and also kindly subscribe. And also uh, click on the uh, bell, uh, bell button so that anytime I upload value content videos like this, you can also be alerted instantly so that you can be able to watch it. So thank you guys one more time for stopping by and I again, I'm also again advising you guys to implement the strategy you just learned from this particular video. If it is working for me, obviously it's going to work for you. So to your success and see you some other time on my next video.